everyone welcome back to my channel so as usual let's get straight right into this video so the hair that I'm gonna be using is from a company called perfect locks and the texture is kinky curly from their steam collection now I'm only gonna be using two bundles to create this look and they're in inches 18 and 22 now I've already shampooed and conditioned the hair using the perfect locks hydrating shampoo and conditioner which is also available on their site for purchase now you don't have to purchase their products but they do recommend that you use high quality products to treat this hair so like your shea moistures and other natural products like that just to ensure that the hair lasts as long as possible because it is 100 virgin indian hair so it hasn't been chemically treated or processed in any way so you want to make sure you're using the best products as possible so here's the weaving cap that i'm going to be using to sew the hair onto um, now I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of tutorials here on YouTube on how to do a 3-4 wig, so I'm going to kind of speed through this. But basically I start laying tracks at the base, like right above that seam, um, pretty much from ear to ear, and I also sew through the weft. Now I keep a continuous track going, I do not cut any tracks whatsoever, I just simply just fold it over and keep on going. Um, now since I'm only using two bundles, I do lay the tracks about one third to one and a half inch apart. of the way done I begin sewing the tracks vertically because I do want a side part. So here's what the wig looks like once it's completed. It's not really neat, but I really don't care about that. All of that is going to be covered up. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just going to cut out that U. You want to leave about, uh, about one fourth an inch around the perimeter so you have something to sew onto. And also, um, you're going to cut the perimeter as well, leaving about one fourth an inch as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so now onto the fun part. So I've already sewed on a few wig clips to the perimeter of the wig. I'm just not a fan of sewing down a wig to my hair. I just feel like it's just way too permanent. I like to have access to my scalp 24 seven. And I don't know, it makes the wig a lot more versatile when you can take it on and off as you please. So I didn't cornrow my hair or anything. It's just twisted. Once again, that would be too permanent. I don't know, I just really want this wig to be for those days where I really don't feel like fooling with my hair and I could just throw on the wig and just be out the door with not a lot of maintenance. Now I do have quite a bit of leave out, but it works for me. Um, I'm just really self-conscious when I have a wig that the wind's gonna blow and then like my track is gonna be exposed and I'll be mortified. <laughs> so I do leave quite a bit more hair out than some may, but like I said, it works for me and I don't really use wigs anymore for protective styling per se. It's just pretty much to switch up my look. Let me tell you guys something, bobby pins are your friend. Like, don't be scared to use them. Like, they are perfect for securing the wig down further. And also, they're great for when you're trying to blend and just, you know, conceal tracks as well. Like, get your life <laughs> to these bobby pins, girl. Please do. Right here, I'm just taking my comb and combing out the curls a little bit more, just so it looks more natural and more big. Um, I think the common objective, you know, for wigs and weaves is just to look more natural, make it look more like your hair. So do whatever you need to do to make it look more like your hair. Um, then I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut, so um, it looks, once again, more natural and flows a little better. Um, I probably should have ended up getting like a 16 inch and 18 because I just completely chopped the 22 like down to probably an 18. Um, but definitely keep that in mind if you're looking for something more of this shape versus how it was previously that you could go shorter. So once I've cut the hair into my desired shape, I just took a spray bottle with water and just dampened the hair a little bit just to start getting some of that shed hair out of there. And then I followed with the leave-in conditioner from Perfect Locks um, to just put some more moisture in there just to get it more uniform um, again. And then I took my diffuser just to dry it and to add more volume as well before I start blending it with my hair. Now there's really no clear, concise, or perfect way to blend hair. You pretty much just wanna do it by any means necessary. So if that means wrapping your hair around the weave a few times, like do what you have to do. Or if it means, you know, taking a few bobby pins and laying your hair this way, that way, to the east, to the west, like girl, get your life and just do what you have to do. <laughs> so you wanna, I mean, I think the clear objective um, when wearing weaves and wigs is to get it to look as natural as possible. Like, am I wrong? Well, for me, it is. Um, so I think the biggest thing is texture. So you wanna find something that matches your texture. And for this hair, I think it matches my texture like almost to a T. Like you can't tell where my hair ends and the weave begins. And I think like, girl, that is great. So this is hands down um, probably the best hair I've ever worn. Um, just because it was so easy to blend because it matched my texture to a T. So that's what I want you guys to be looking for is for texture. So texture is pretty much how the hair looks and how the hair feels. Not so much curl pattern because that can be manipulated as you can see. I did a simple twist out and it, it blends. Um, so you wanna focus on texture. Um, blending your hair with weave should never be like a science project. And if you feel like you're probably you're spending more time than you have to, then you probably didn't either um, leave enough hair out or it's probably just not your texture. So stop forcing your hair to do things it wasn't naturally supposed to do. Um, it's just like when you see people with beautiful kinky curly hair, you know, wearing like silky straight Eurasian, like that's not what your hair is supposed to be doing. Like just stay true to who you are. Well, I'm going off on a tangent, but. <laughs> The common objective is to get your hair to look as natural as, as possible. So focus on finding the perfect texture. And this is the perfect texture for, um, for my hair, um, for black hair, if you have similar hair texture to me. And once again, texture is different than like curl pattern and stuff like that. So don't focus on that. Focus on, you know, how your hair reflects light. Is it shiny? Is it dense? Like those things. Um, and I have a dense, well, medium to high density, fine for mainly for B hair, um, and it works perfectly. Okay. 
So that completes this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. Before I forget, make sure you guys head on over to Perfect Locks and use promo code PERFECT to receive $15 off a purchase of $150 or more. Also, follow me on Instagram at the Notorious Kia and get your life. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. So until next time, peace and dopeness.